have everyone here this morning. And while child abuse is um, a challenging issue and a somber issue, we really want to celebrate a couple of things today. One is that we really want to recognize York County and our multidisciplinary response to child abuse investigations. We do a great job here responding to children who have experienced abuse and that's definitely something to celebrate because not every region has this kind of coordinated response. And you'll hear from a number of our partners today um, as they respond, as they talk about how they respond and the importance of this issue. So thank you so much for being here. We also want to celebrate the courage and resiliency of children. Um, we, every year at the Children's Advocacy Center, we have around 400 children now coming to our center. And they show tremendous courage and uh, resiliency in talking about what happened to them and moving forward and um, beginning to heal from the abuse that they've experienced. So we have a lot to celebrate today, even though we recognize that the garden behind us represents the number of reports of abuse in 2012. That's 1,270 reports. We expect to get 2013 numbers shortly uh, from the Department of Public Welfare. So we know we have a challenge here in York, but we're proud of the way we're responding to it. And we believe that it's important to raise community awareness with efforts such as this so that we can all do our part to uh, make sure that children remain safe. We really want to recognize our sponsors who help to make this kind of thing uh, possible. Our presenting sponsors are Wellspan Health and Glavfelter insurance group um, who are our garden sponsors the women's health care group dr rebecca, rebecca burdett and morgan stanley are our garden sponsors and then we have some pinwheel sponsors quality digital office technology and apple automotive and if you uh, use the services of these facilities and businesses please thank them because they really do recognize that making york aware of this issue is very important and so we're very grateful for their support I'm very happy to invite Mayor Bracey forward to read the joint proclamation from the York County Commissioners and from the City of York. And um, I'll invite her to come forward and read now. Good morning, all. As Zev said, this is a joint proclamation. Uh, the commissioners cannot be with us today, but they are supportive as well. The proclamation reads Child Abuse and Neglect Prevention Month, April 2014. Whereas child abuse and neglect is a complex and ongoing problem in our society affecting many children in York City and York County, and whereas every child is entitled to be loved, cared for, nurtured, feel secure, and to be free from verbal, sexual, emotional, and physical abuse and neglect, and whereas it is the responsibility of every adult who comes in contact with a child to protect that child's inalienable right to a safe and nurturing childhood. And whereas York City and York County have dedicated individuals and organizations who work daily to counter the problem of child maltreatment and to help parents obtain the assistance they need. And whereas our communities are stronger when all citizens become aware of child maltreatment prevention and become involved in supporting parents to raise their children in a safe and nurturing environment. And whereas effective child abuse prevention programs succeed because of partnerships among families, social service agencies, schools, religious and civic organizations, law enforcement agencies, and the business community. And whereas all citizens, community agencies, faith organizations, and businesses will work to increase their efforts to support families. Now, therefore, we, the York City Mayor and the York County Commissioners of Pennsylvania do hereby proclaim April 2014 as Child Abuse and Neglect Prevention Month in York City and throughout York County. And we urge our citizens to celebrate children, our greatest resource, and the community leaders of tomorrow. Given this day in York and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania on the first day of April in the year of our Lord 2014, I signed it and all three commissioners. Congratulations and let's work hard to prevent child abuse. We'll now invite uh, our partners to come forward and make some comments. Tom? There he is. Right in front of me. Thank you. Um, you know, one of the things I'd like to share with you is the collaboration and what, it, what, it, what happens with the kind of collaboration that we have with our agency uh, partners. Uh, last week, uh, the gentleman was sentenced, not a gentleman, but an individual was sentenced to uh, 79 and a half 
to 150 years in a state correctional institution for abusing children. That kind of sentence doesn't just happen. It happens as a result of, con of, of cooperation, uh, excellent police work. It happens as a result of excellent interviewing. It happens as a result of excellent medical service. And it happens as a result of excellent prosecutors. And there are more people who are involved on a daily basis with this. Uh, the parents uh, that, that encourage these children to come forward. Uh, the uh, children themselves and the courage that they show. This is the kind of thing that we can stop so that we don't have to have people who are abused and uh, uh, so the children can grow up in a, in a good environment, feeling safe, and, and be responsible adults. You know, the sad fact is that those young children are probably scarred for life, no matter what we do. And, uh, but the fact is that that individual will be away, and many more like him are going to be away for a very long time as a result of this type of cooperation. So this is a wonderful thing that we've got going here in New York. Uh, you know, it's driven by Deb. Uh, very proud to be a part of it. And uh, thank you uh, for all your work. Thank you, Deb. Good morning, my name is Kim James. I'm the Director of Children, Youth, and Families here in York County. And I echo many of the sentiments that have been expressed this morning. Just wanted to take a minute to say thank you so much to our community partners. Um, we couldn't do the work that we do on a daily basis without the collaboration of everyone, many of whom are represented here today. Um, thank you so much to the CAC and to Deb for this beautiful display. Um, child abuse and neglect is a serious issue, one that happens in communities across the Commonwealth and we appreciate this opportunity to bring uh, continued recognition to it and do what we can to continue to protect the children of York County and make families strong. So thanks very much for your efforts. Thank you, everybody. I'm just gonna touch once again on uh, what the theme that everyone's spoken about so far is the partnership. And uh, I will tell you in the time that I've been in law enforcement, it's amazing to see the progress that has taken place with how these cases are handled. Uh, there's so much more an emphasis on holistically taking care of the child through this entire treatment. And uh, it's just a great model. And, and as everyone else said, you know, the, from the medical staff to the people at CAC, to the people at Children and Youth, and, the uh, district attorney's office. It's, it's amazing how everyone comes together in this partnership. To, to conclude, I have to say the one thing when I, when I look at this display every year, uh, the pinwheels kind of remind me, if you look, there's so many different varieties of pinwheels here and they're moved. Some are moving, some aren't. And it just reminds me that, that what we're here to talk about doesn't touch just one type of child. It covers all racial backgrounds, all religions, all socioeconomic backgrounds in all communities in our county. And uh, there are a large number of pinwheels out here, but it also reminds me of the number of pinwheels that should be here because it is such an underreported crime. Uh, so it's great that something like this calls attention to, to what's going on. So thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Sun's almost over that uh, garage. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Rick Azero. I'm the Chief Services Officer for Access York and the Victims Assistance Center. And at the risk of being redundant, um, collaboration is everything when we're tackling such an enormous issue of child abuse in our community. I'm always pleased to see the little faces that we serve and their recovery. And for me, today is not only a recognition of the gravity of the problem that we all challenge, we're all challenged to um, pursue on a daily basis, but also the healing that takes place with so many of our youth. Um, I was with a little boy the other day who, um, in the aftermath of an extreme sexual assault, did not speak for six months in his home. He became mute. He was highly traumatized. This little boy now, we can't keep him quiet. He runs around, he screams, he's happy, he's laughing, he thinks he's a teenage mutant ninja turtle. And I will tell you, when I look at his face every day, I'm reminded of how many people are involved 
many of which are standing here today as a collective response to give voice to this child. So what I would encourage us to do today is let this be the beginning of something, strengthen our collaborations, respond to the little voices that really need our voice to speak out on their behalf. I thank you all for being here today. Good morning. My name is Dr. David Turkowitz. I'm here representing Wellspan and, and also the CAC. I'm going to expand a bit on the theme of, of collaborations to really include all of us. I want to talk to you today as both a parent and a pediatrician with a career focus on child abuse prevention and intervention. I have three children and each are now navigating adulthood. I am not a child abuser, but I do know that I could have been a better parent. There were many times that I let situations negatively influence my parenting approaches. Why well, mention this? Child abuse starts with all of us at home. If you are frustrated or angry, then you become irrational. And irrational people can do bad things. A child should never be disciplined when a parent is angry. And what about discipline? All children mean, need discipline, but discipline doesn't imply creating fear or pain. The word discipline comes from the Latin discipulus, meaning to teach. Hitting a child not only makes the point that you disapprove of behavior, but also tells your child it's okay to inflict pain as a way to resolve conflicts. I'm not saying that all physical punishment is child abuse. I am saying that there are more loving ways to parent, and many children carry lifelong emotional and physical scars resulting from out of control discipline. Child Abuse Prevention Month is about recognizing the sanctity of our children. It is up to us to parent them in a way that promotes healthy adulthood. It is up to us to extend a safety net uh, to our children in our communities by helping neighbors in stress. It is up to us to recognize and to react to situations when children are being abused or at risk of being abused. There are many programs that we know will reduce child abuse, but we can't forget that child abuse prevention starts with all of us. Child abuse can only be eliminated if we embrace positive parenting techniques at home as my daughter and son-in-law have done with my first grandchild and if we are all willing to be part of a safety net for children in our community. Thank you for all being here today. Thank you so much for everyone for being here and uh, to all of our partners for joining us on this day. We are so happy to wrap up this press conference with a fantastic youth choir from Your Country Day School. And I'm gonna invite Rachel Snyder, their director, to just come make a few comments about the song they're gonna sing for us. And when we're finished, you are all free to leave and go out and do your part to uh, prevent and end child abuse in your county. Thank you so much. Good morning, everyone. My name is Rachel Snyder, and it is my privilege to be the Director of Performing Arts at York Country Day School. With me here today is our middle school choir. We're going to sing a piece for you called Takadamu. Takadamu is Swahili, and the essence and the metaphor of the language means lead the way. And it is our privilege as scholars, artists, athletes, and citizens to share our message in song to you and share with you the incredible advocacy we have in York by spreading the message of lead the way. And I hope that as students, we can lead the way and we can join with York County in this wonderful project. Thank you. Yeah,